I quit drinking completely this past year for a whole 12 months. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the 10 reasons why I decided to do this and how it's impacted my life. Before I get into the 10 reasons why I decided to stop drinking this past year, I'm gonna talk about my history with drinking. So just like the typical American college student, I, I got really into drinking at Texas A&M University where I went to school and it really got pretty extreme. I mean, like I, I would dirty rush every year for different fraternities, meaning I would pretend that I was rushing for fraternities just to get into all the parties. That's where it all kind of started. Um, and then it would just carry on throughout the year. I mean, it, it got to the point where Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like I was going to what we called Northgate, which is where all the bars were. Um, and yeah, I, I was getting to the point where I would drink 15 drinks in a night. And it, it was like, I, I was drinking a lot, okay? And and then it carried on you know, past college and it, it got to the point where it affected lots of different areas of my life. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into why I decided to make this change this year. Reason number one is I'm a fitness coach and I've gotten really into my fitness business these past couple years. And as a coach and a leader, I want to lead by example for any of my clients or followers on social media who may struggle with alcohol. So I wanna be that, that example that people can look up to and be like, okay, if he can do it, I can do it and, and just show through my experience how it's affected me um, and maybe have an impact on those that, that follow me or work with me closely one-on-one. -on -one. Reason number two it really isn't that deep and it's just that hangovers suck. Man, like hangovers set you back like two to three days. It, it bleeds into Monday um, and it got to the point like, you know, I'm getting older, I'm gonna be 30 this year um, and it, I want to be productive on my weekends, right? So I, I want to be able to, to function and, and not be set back every single week. So that's another reason why I decided just it's not serving me this year is, you know, hangovers, they get tough, they set you back and, and there's just really no reason for it. Reason number three is I've done a lot of reflection over the past couple of years. I've done started doing a lot of journaling. I've been seeing a counselor. Um, I've done a lot of just introspection and a lot of self work. And I've realized that alcohol has really affected me in the past. Um, and after doing that reflection, I've just come to the conclusion that it's not gonna serve my future. So I decided this year, you know, after just thinking about everything that alcohol has done to negatively affect my life in the past, I, I really decided like, I wanna make a change this year. Reason number four is I got obsessed with improving the quality of my sleep. I've realized that sleep is such a big factor in a lot of different things. Um, shout out to Andrew Huberman. Go check out his sleep podcast. That's what kind of opened my eyes to how important sleep is. Um, and I also watched his alcohol video, which had a very big impact on me. Um, but I've realized that with sleep being so important, how much alcohol is a detriment to your sleep, I just realized like, I don't want that to affect my sleep and affect all these other areas that are affected by low quality sleep. Reason number five is alcohol is literally a poison to your body. And as a fitness coach, I felt like I was living a lie, you know, putting poison in my body every weekend and then preaching fitness, right? So reason number five is just it's poison and it's not gonna serve your fitness goals. Reason number six is I've become so focused and clear on my life's mission. That is, I wanna become the most impactful fitness coach that I can possibly be, that I've removed anything from my life that isn't serving that mission. And alcohol was definitely something that wasn't serving that mission. Reason number seven is I've realized that I don't need liquid courage to socialize. Um, I was a very introverted kid growing up and coming into college, I think a big reason why I started drinking so heavily was I couldn't get myself to socialize without that liquid courage. But as I've cut back and eventually removed this from my life, I realized I'm much better socially without being intoxicated by a long shot. So I, I think it was just something that was in my head that I needed this to socialize, but I realized without 
drinking in the past year, I'm much better socially <laughs> without being heavily intoxicated. That's for sure. Reason number eight is running your own business is hard enough without slowing yourself down. If you run your own business, you know what I mean. Reason number nine is the longer I've gone without having alcohol, the more I've realized that it's just not necessary or I don't need it. So I was actually on a vacation a few weeks ago in Charleston, South Carolina, and I, I was actually planning on breaking this stint of no alcohol and having some alcohol on the trip. Um, but when it came down to it and the other people I was on the trip with, you know, were drinking alcohol and I was at restaurants, I just decided that I didn't want to and, and it was fine. And I realize now that having a good time doesn't mean you have to drink, <laughs> which is something I thought in the past. I thought alcohol equals good time, right? But I, I created great memories. I had a, an absolutely amazing trip on this vacation and now I've realized just I don't need it to have a good time. So yeah, that's, that's reason number nine is just the longer I've gone without it, the more I've realized I don't need it. Reason number 10 is I've seen alcohol ruin people's lives. Not only just, you know, people in the media and celebrities and things like that, but people actually close to me. So, you know, friends, family members, I, I've seen it have a real impact in a very negative way um, in people that, that I've grown up with and uh, people that are very close to me. So I've just realized that if it has had an impact so severely on people I care about, it's not something I wanna see myself get to that point. There it is. So those are the reasons why I decided to stop drinking completely in the last year. And the impact that it's had on me, my business has grown exponentially. I've gotten in the best physical shape of my entire life and I can 100% say with confidence that I'm in the best mental headspace that I've ever been in, right? So I'm not gonna say that I'll never drink again. Um, I'll probably drink at special occasions in the future, but for right now, it's not a part of my life and that's where I'm at. So um, guys, if you're considering doing like a dry January or you know cutting out alcohol, alcohol for an extended period of time, I would encourage it, uh, check out Andrew Huberman's podcast. Uh, I would say just search Andrew Huberman alcohol, and I'm sure it'll pop up to make an informed decision. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. If you like this video, please like the damn video. This was pretty vulnerable and kind of hard for me to put together. So um, if you want more you know, transparent content like this, then please like the video. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I got past 1,000K. So shout out to you guys that are part of the Fitness Junkie crew in the movement. Um, but let's make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, let's get past 2K and uh, enjoy more fitness information, inspiration content like this. So guys, appreciate you. See you in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.